Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Dayette. This is the Dayette HEPA Air Purifier. Uh, this has a CADR, or cleaning rate, of 400 plus, uh, up to 1720 square feet. It uses an H13 four-stage uh, true HEPA air filter. And uh, we're going to dig into it now, uh, check out all of its features that it has, and I'll be right back. Okay, so when you first get it out of the box, uh, this is what it's going to look like. The dimensions on this are 17.17 inches high, 9.8 inches wide, and 9.8 inches in depth, uh, just to give you an idea. All of your uh, accessories are going to be sealed in the HEPA filter itself, so you're going to have to unbox it. It's just going to be the unit, just like I saw right there. And then when you uh, click to turn this, all of your accessories are going to be included in the filter itself. Uh, so that makes it kind of an easy packaging here for this. So if you're wondering where your plug is, your remote is, all of that, it's down inside uh, the uh, H13 HEPA filter. So once you get all of that out, we do have some documentation here, obviously, so that you can uh, reference this if you need to, uh, showing you how to hook up your device, how to change your filter, uh, things like that. Again, true HEPA H13 filtration does 99.97 .97 of airborne particles uh, as small as 0.3 microns, which is a pretty important. Uh, you can see it is a four-stage filter as well. Uh, you do have that carbon in there. Uh, you do also have several other layers uh, like a pre-filter. Uh, you do have the true HEPA, which does the dust, smoke particles, mold spores, pollen, dander, and mites. Uh, and then, of course, the high-efficiency activated carbon filter, which will do smokes, odors, fumes, and VOCs. And then there's a net filter in there that catches large particles from the air as well. Uh, so hold on to this information if you do need it. Uh, you'll have it there for reference. You do get a two-prong, two-barrel plug adapter for supplying power to the unit, and you do get a remote control with this, which is nice. Uh, it does have a lot of different functions here, from power uh, to your fan speed. You do have a child lock on this, a sleep mode for this as well as a timer. Uh, it does take two AAA batteries uh, that are not included, so just make sure that you have some on hand when you do get the device. Setup on this is pretty simple. You just have to uh, make sure that it's plugged in. Uh, you do have touch controls across the top and an LCD screen. Uh, you do have handles on the side as well for carrying this. Of course, on the back, you do have your plug-in for power, which you will just plug in. And then up there at the top, you do have uh, the IR sensor. Uh, for your parts per million 2.5 uh, that will show up on the LCD screen to let you know of your air quality as well. Uh, so you can flip this on its side and you can just twist to unlock to take out the HEPA filter and replace it if you need to. You can replace this uh, every uh, six to eight months is what they recommend, depending on how often you're gonna use this. Now you can see there is that charcoal filter on the inside there and there a net filter on the outside. Uh, and taking a look at that, via more of a top-down view, you can kind of get an idea of where uh, you have the four different stages. Now, you can't see all of them, but you can see three of them from here. On the top of the unit, you have a very, very large fan. This is where the uh, cleaned air or purified air will go out of the top, and it has a 360-degree intake uh, to help clean everything up. So overall, uh, this is a, uh, a pretty large unit for a fairly large size room. Uh, I don't know that it will clean your whole house per se, uh, but if you have an apartment, this will definitely do the job. Uh, you can see now that we're plugged in, there's three LED lights there, and we'll get into a demonstration of how this sounds while it's on. 
Okay, so taking a look at it while it's running, you can see that I've got my uh, part per million 2.5 um, in the green level right now, which is uh, pretty good. Blue is the best, uh, anything under 35. So I'm right at that edge of uh, okay quality to great quality uh, for my apartment. And now it just went into the blue here. Now you can see uh, that we have several different things here. There is a sleep mode, uh, there's a time, there's a lock button for a child lock. Uh, so you hold that down for two seconds. And you can see a little eye lock icon come up there on the screen. Uh, and that means that if they push any buttons on the front, uh, that it's not going to change. Holding down for two seconds will turn that lock off as well. Uh, now we also have a sleep uh, timer here uh, where we can go from one hours all the way up to 12 hours. Uh, so you can cycle through just by continuing to hit the button. Once you get to 12 uh, and you hit it again, it will turn the timer off. Uh, but if you go up to say, uh, you know, 12 hours and let it go, it will actually start to do the countdown for you as well. So that's a nice welcome thing to have uh, if you want to set this on a timer. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to go through the fan mode, starting with the lowest setting first, uh, so that you can hear exactly how loud the fan modes are. There are four of them, uh, so we're going to go through those right now. There's also one last mode that I want to show you, which is the sleep mode. Uh, this uh, maxes out at 22 decibels. Okay, so those were the four modes plus sleep mode, which is basically a fifth mode. Uh, the uh, lowest modes uh, were fairly quiet and it will get down into those lower modes when it's in the green and blue areas. When it goes up to yellow, it'll get to that third. And then of course it'll go into that kind of turbo mode when it, uh, it detects it in the red for your PM 2.5. Uh, so your air quality is going to determine how uh, loud the fan is, especially when you first turn it on. When you first turn it on, it will detect the air quality in the room and it will set the fan accordingly, which is great. Uh, so if you're just coming home and you turn it on and it needs to clear out the room for some reason, uh, it will put it at that higher mode. And then when it detects that the air quality has improved, it will automatically adjust the fan level down. Now you can just leave it on a certain fan level if that's what you would like, especially when you're sleeping, that sleep mode uh, really maxes out at only 22 decibels. Very quiet, very silent, uh, perfect for a bedroom. Okay, so that's my review of the Dayet uh, HEPA air purifier. Uh, this, uh, again, is something that if you're going to be within its 1,720 square feet, is going to work really great for you. Now, for my office, again, I stated that I uh, just set it up. Uh, and I got down to a great air quality, uh, you know, within uh, seven to eight minutes of turning it on. So that's great. Uh, it cleared out my office, no problems whatsoever. For smaller rooms uh, to medium-sized rooms, this is going to work just great in my testing. Now, I like the fact that you have that PM 2.5 digital display, so you can see your air quality right on the screen, and you kind of know what's going on with it. This is going to really help out people with allergies, uh, you know, people that own pets and they want to get rid of that pet dander, uh, smokers or vapors, obviously. Uh, it's going to help out with that uh, dust and things like that. It also has that built-in sleep mode at 22 decibels, so it's really going to be nice to have in your bedroom for your uh, air quality while you're sleeping. If you're looking for an air purifier uh, that is HEPA uh, and has a four-stage filtration and uh, plenty of different modes, plus you get to see that uh, air quality on the digital display, you might want to check out this one from Dayette. 
I was pretty impressed with it. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. And this was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review. And I'll check you guys out on the next one.